Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more RimWorld Alpha 16. So, Sammy's doing that stuff, and Mr. Wiz is making a lovely snowman. Very nice. Gives four beauty, which is pretty cool. Right, uh, quick bit of admin. Let's go to uh, JJ. Change your name to Alfred Hitchcock. Oh no! It's just going to be called Hitchcock. <laughs> Apparently you can't fit the rest of it in. Which is fair, I suppose. I'll accept that. Alright, well, we've got Hitchcock in the group now. Uh, another great, fantastic idea. Didn't consider. I'm going to put a steel door here. And what that's going to do is if mad animals ever attack, we can close this door and then we've got all the time in the world to actually uh, turn our turrets on and all that jazz. So we're, if we get a mad animal attack of a uh, man hunters, then uh, we can just close the door and we'll be fine. So long as we don't want to leave the base anyway. Right, as for this place, we've got our orbital trade beacon pretty much set in place. Uh, I'm not sure how far it goes down this little bit though. So we're just going to keep mining bits of the wall off. Oop. Hello. That is an opening to another part of the building. I'm not sure if this is going to collapse though, so we're just going to make sure it doesn't. And I'm going to put a bit of wood right there. So that's potentially the centre of the room, which is going to hold up the roof. Is the goal, anyway. So we're officially in winter. We're not really growing anything, although we've got some lovely strawberry plants around our snowman. We'll call him Gary the Snowman, because reasons. Right, um, we need some plasteel. We are 10 short on plasteel, and that means that we're going to mine some of this out, like so. And then we've got two turrets set up, ready for the next uh, invasion. Plus, we're pretty close on the steel. We've got 200 steel left. We need to consider finding some more. We might find some in this wall, to be perfectly honest, so... We'll see. And let's see if... Oh my god, we've got quite the wall there. This is going to allow us to see how far the wall extends. So it goes out to here, apparently. Which is good. Unless it's sort of a... Um, X distance from the trade beacon. I'm not sure if it's just a radius or... I'm pretty sure it's not just a radius. I'm pretty sure that they... Uh, not just a, an X distance away kind of thing. I think it's just a constant circle that you get to fill. That'll be my guess. So we'll probably close off some of this. We might use it for something else in the future, perhaps, anyway. We'll see. But for now, uh, let's create a stockpile. Hopefully that's the same stockpile. It is. Wonderful. So we've extended our stockpile out quite a fair bit. To the point where we probably won't need to extend it out for quite some time. Uh, let's just mine this as well, like so, and deconstruct that, and mine it there. I feel like that's about as far as it needs to go. And then structure, let's wall that off, just because we can. Hopefully if we get, um... A hive spawning in, it spawns back here, so we've got some time to kill. Before they make it into the base. Alright, we do need some steel. And there's some right there. So we'll get that gone. Although, none of this mine is going to get done until that gets done anyway. So let's speed up some time. Let's not waste any of our precious, precious time. Faster! Faster! There you go. Right. And create stop pal. That, for the time being, is going to be our stop pile. It's, uh, it's a lovely shape. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Let's just finish this bit of wall off because it'll bug me otherwise. As I'm sure it'll bug the rest of you. And then we'll remake the stop pile again so it fills in those little blanks. Oop. Like so. Alright. 
and then haul all of those things out of the room. We've got some limestone blocks we could make the floor out of in there as well. What kind of material is this? Slate. Hmm. And that's all marble there. Interesting. Right, I want you to hold that open. So the next time they walk through this door, it's going to stay open. And that just means it's going to be a faster transition through the area. And then we can literally just untick this and the door will shut when we need it to. Which will be lovely. Lilith, how's it going? Yeah, didn't click you. Imprisoned, feeling bad, wearing one out of apparel. Sure. Slept on the ground. Well, whose fault is that, Lilith? Whose fault is that? You should just join us. Yeah, we're definitely chatting and recruiting you. Good to know. Lawrence is opening a lovely, fresh beer. So half our colony is now drunk. Or tipsy. Depending on your perspective. And your tolerance. Right. Uh, the steel vein's done there. We've got this big one here, though, so we don't need to worry too much about steel at this point in time. And there's the plasteel that we were going to be using. That's now going to go into our turrets. Hopefully these aren't as weak as I really worry that they are. <laughs> and it'll end up being a waste of plasteel, but... Let's just quickly check that if I toggle this power, both turrets turn on. That uh, is correct. Alright, and turn them back off again. So now we've got two turrets to shoot down the line, which is very nice. We've got loads of sandbags as well to get some extra lines of cover against uh, any shots down the um, down the firing line. Food-wise, we're doing pretty well. Hauling-wise, we're doing pretty poorly. No one's doing any of that. And power-wise, yeah, we seem to be just completely stable here. It's going up to about 800, and I'm sure it ticks down. Oh, we're being sieged. A group of pirates from the Pigs of Injury have arrived. It looks like they want to besiege the colony and pound you with mortars from a distance. Wonderful. What happened to you? Grizzly bear killed you. Good to know. So we have the manpower, so what kind of things? They have steel mortars, okay. Only a single steel mortar though. But they can be pretty annoying nonetheless. So everybody's got warm clothing by the looks of it, except for maybe you. But you've got a jacket. You've got a jacket. Everybody has weapons. Anamu, not quite. Anamu, let's give you... Probably this incendiary rifle, honestly. Or even a frag grenade. Let's give you frag grenades for now. And Alfred Cox has got an SMG, pistol, sword I don't know if we're going to be using too much of. And Tony's ma missing a weapon as well. You're having a machine pistol. And that's everybody armed to the teeth then. So, <clears throat> we're going to make... An expedition up here hopefully by the time they've started building their stuff we will be ready to assault them I want to catch them in the act they do have a lot of ranged weapons though in the form of what have you got an LMG yeah so they've got an assault rifle a hunting rifle and a sniper rifle which is gonna be a problem I think it's needless to say but we should hopefully oh dear Grizzly Bear Revenge. Local Grizzly Bear is attacking after being harmed. Yes! Yes, go the right way. Alright, this might be our time to uh, line up our people. So we'll get you there. Shotgun guy, we'll put you there. Alfred Hitchcock's going to go there. Kiko around the corner here. Anamu, probably there. And then we'll have more backup as the time goes on. Nice. Ah, oh, Mr. Wiz, no. Get Kepler. Kepler's been hit in the face. Alright, Hitchcock. Please hit this man here. And throw grenades at McConnell. 
Nice. Health. Shredded. Wonderful. Right, Lawrence. Bring you up here. Sammy. Up here. McConnell's down. They're assaulting the colony. They're not going to get very far. We could do a strategic retreat back to base. But I think the reason why Tony's taking so long is because he's got a peg leg. And in fact, I'm just going to undraft you. Because I know you're not going to get back in time. Anamu, how are you doing? Ah, a couple of shots here and there. But those grenades are just absolutely clutch in this situation. So, fire at the man with the LMG. Fire there. Fire there. And in fact, Kiko, come up around the back. Try closing that distance. Anamu, I'm going to have you back up. Because I think you're probably going to get downed anytime soon. They're fleeing. Wonderful. Right, Kiko. Take down boss. Everybody else. Attack Maya. Get him. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. I don't think boss is getting caught up to, to be honest, so. Maya, let's have a look at you. Nothing permanent in terms of injury, but you're absolutely horrible, so we're not taking you. And taking your corpse and your weapon is what we are actually going to do. Hmm. Some of these fires are just... Maybe we should put out the fire just so that we can maintain all of the... Uh, the resources that we've got available to us. So if I select all of that, undraft everybody, hopefully they should go put out the fire. And indeed they do. So that's hopefully going to mean, uh, except for that corpse there, that we're going to be able to keep a lot of these resources. Oh, we actually did get the corpse back, but his gear's probably... It's not even actually that shredded, to be honest. Which is good. Alright, strip all of them. Anamu is pretty much apparently the only one who needs treatment. Uh, everybody needs treatment, but to a lesser extent. Alright, let's claim all of this first, actually. Orders and claim. Oh, apparently... Hello? Am I not allowed to deconstruct this? It used to be able to. Can't claim it. Yeah, well, it's going to maintain it then. We've got a sniper rifle. Straight away, Sammy's getting that. And who else has got a less than average weapon? You've got frag grenades, and it really helped for that siege. I've actually never really used frag grenades in any kind of uh, battle, but when it's not our resources that we're potentially blowing up, it's pretty sweet to throw grenades at them. It was about a couple of hits and everybody went down. So let's enable all of that for hauling and transport. Strip some of these corpses because we have some decent parkers and actually a decent armoured vest in that case. Uh, despite the fact that I'm sure he was shredded to death. Yeah, look at all that. Shredded by frag grenades. And Mayor's crap, so he's gonna die. I don't, I'm not that fussed. Hopefully rain starts and puts that fire out before we end up having a wasteland. Right, uh, Tony, you are our doctor. And there's no immediate danger on that, but I'd appreciate it. We got no herbal medicine. We don't. Well, just treat him normally. Just add some bandages to it. And an Anamu gets full medicine, apparently. Stick that back to uh, herbal meds. There we go. So everybody's bandaged, at the very least, and healing. What does he think of the room? Does he have any... Uh, Decent bedroom. Slightly impressive hospital. Good. That's what I like to hear. We have a fire nearby. Oh. Yep, that's quite the fire. And there's the rain to put it out. Lovely. Okay. So Anamu's wearing tattered apparel. 
Uh, looks like an armoured vest he's wearing is doing it. Anything below 50% is considered tattered, I believe. So, if someone goes and strips this man of his clothing, you'll get a 58% chance, 58% uh, bit of clothing. Although, it's slowly deteriorating under the, uh, under the rain, so... If I could get people to... Haul these guys, that'd be lovely. Haul that. Sammy's doing that. All right. That's the majority of the stuff I want hauling. Right, quick wild animal check. None in our base. There are a few hanging around outside though. Oh dear, I saw that. Wild boar just got hit by a bolt of lightning. Pretty great. Almost healed these guys. Wonderful. Okay. And the rain has stopped. Minor break from Hitchcock. What's up? Just in general, you want to break. Okay. Everything you say to me takes me one step closer to the edge, and I'm about to break. Okay. Minus eight degrees outside, and everybody has decent enough clothing except for Anamu, who just needs a new armored vest. Glad you have an armored vest, though. And we've actually got a lot better firepower this time around as well. I might actually consider arming people up. So, I believe this machine pistol, yeah, was 36%. So you can have an assault rifle instead. That seems good to me. Uh, one of you had an LMG, one of the, um, the enemies. I think that might be the one that got away, though. Judging by the fact that there isn't one here. And I don't think I saw one up here. Pistol, Molotov cocktails, no. I think he got away. Fair play, fair play. Hmm. We'll get a debuff from uh, wearing the corpse's, uh, the corpse's clothing. So, uh, I'm not so fussed about that at the moment though, because we don't really have another way of getting armored vests. Unfortunately. And it's, it's fairly important that we do have them. Local Ibex has gone mad. Alright, well, I'm just gonna... In fact, who's it attacking? NG. Alright, NG. Come down this way, please. Mr. Wiz, can you uh, be so kind as to uh, flick that power switch? And stand there to open fire on this Ibex. We'll go there. Oh, it's dead already. Wonderful. Undraft. Switch the power off. So our security is uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I'm impressed. Single shot killed everything. Alright. 14 survival meals there as well. Ooh, lovely. It's quite a fair bit here if that turkey... God damn, if that turkey eats my survival meals, I'll be so upset. I was hauling. Let's push some people up on hauling. Not Tony. Tony, I'm going to go down on hauling because she's got a peg leg. So she's not getting anywhere too fast. I know Anamu has a fast walk speed, so you're probably really good for this. Oh, no, you don't. One of us does. Um, we'll shoot her. Fast walker, Mr. Wiz. I don't like the idea of Mr. Wiz going too far out of the uh, the base too often, though. Because he's quite important to me as our number one doctor and overall MVP of absolutely everything. Plus, he has a wife now, and uh, that will be a massive emotional debuff to uh, Lawrence and Mr. Wiz if either of them would die. So we've got to avoid that at all costs when possible. Uh, what's the temperature in here? 21 degrees. Let's check the temperature everywhere, actually, because it's fairly important that we maintain a decent temperature. 
It's minus three in there. That needs turning on. That's why it's so low. And minus four in there is exactly where we need it to be. Okay, so it seems as though everywhere where it's necessary has a decent temperature. Wonderful. I'm going to turn this off and turn this off. Oops. Oh, damn it. No, reconnect. I was connected to uh, our power switch then, and I did not want that, so I'm quite glad it connected to the other one instead. Hold that. Good. And our door's now being up, held open as well, so... We are being raided again. Drop pods, though, this time. Um, decent spot for us, as far as we're concerned. One of them's already getting high. Oh, they've got frag grenades. I don't think they'll get close enough to use them. But you never know. Let's draft. Bring them down here. So if we uh, no longer hold that open, now it closes. So if we ever have to retreat, we've got a little bit of time before they arrive. Oh, someone needs to... Uh... Kiko, can you uh... switch that on for me, please? Thank you. Alright, let's get all of our units to the front. Mr. Weir's around the side here. And actually, Mr. Wiz, if you stand there, pretty cool thing we can do. If we ever need to fire down the line, Mr. Wiz can open the door and fire inwards. Which would be pretty cool. And Lawrence, I guess you're standing there. It's a tactic I'd not really uh, used at this point, but it might be quite useful. Oh. Oh, that's a problem. They want to come in through our walls. They did not say they were going to sap, or at least I didn't read that they were. My mistake. Let's bring them around here. All right, they're in. We're going to bring Kiko up here. Um, Mr. Wiz up here since you got the shotgun. Sniper rifle right there so you can fire through. Here we go. Melee attack. Nice. One down. Hitchcock, come up here. Nice. Get rid of Shen. No, Kiko! Kiko, get Shen! Oh dear, he's been stunlocked. No, no, melee him. Move out the way of that frag grenade. Kiko, uh, you're on fire. Oh dear, Kiko's on fire. Although, Kiko, if he gets put out... Nice! Go on, lad! Beast. Alright. Yes, you're going to be able to catch him. Or her. Come on, there you go. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful MVP, Kiko. You were on fire and you still managed to cut a man down. That is just like Arnold Schwarzenegger levels of manliness right there. Right, let's hopefully get this fire put out and get this wall repaired. Beautiful. Right, Shen, hello. You don't have any lasting injuries. And you're a pessimist, but you're actually really good at a lot of things. Tail, you're an overall good person. You've got good artistic skills, which I enjoy. Um, you've got a lot of addictions, though. You're missing an arm and a hand. Yeah, you're not, you're not ready for our team. Although, Shen very much is. Uh, we don't actually have a room for you, though, unfortunately. So, with that in mind, uh, how do we want to do this? Everybody's got a room. Um, we could make him share a room with Lilith, but he might end up fighting. But I think that's just going to have to be the case. I'm just going to have to share a room. If we want to keep him, that's what's going to have to be the case. So, capture Shen. Uh, let's get everybody... Stripped. Except for Shen. Let's get all the weapons unforbidden. And let's set a steel wall to be built 
to repair that. We've got 864 steel, so we've got plenty enough. Alright, as for Shen, he gets normal medicine because he is quite injured. And we're going to try... Oh, he's 99%. Hmm. Um, no care. Uh, no medicine, but doctor care. We're actually just going to release you. 99% is just not worth the time. Not when we have a pretty decent team as it is. So we'll heal him up and send him on his way. And hopefully that'll produce some nice um, conversations with our raiders. They'll be like, oh, I'm so grateful that you uh, sent our raider back in one piece. And I'll be like, yep, yeah, I only cut him down several times. They are repairing the wall, but I'd rather them build it. Shen has died due to blood loss. Well, what can you do? Didn't get there in time. How's Engie doing? Let's have a look at our own people. Mr. Wiz just has a single gunshot that's been healed. Where are you going with that? Tony. Um, you don't need medicine for that. I don't think. So just treat her normally. He should be fine, just on that alone. Single gunshot. Um, can you get that medicine out of here, please? I don't want it deteriorating. It's our last bit of medicine, so we should only really use it when we absolutely need to. Or until some more traders turn up. Um, speaking of traders, we haven't even set up this uh, trade beacon yet, so let's do that. And while we're here, let's put a light in it. A light in as well. Set some in the corners. And then... Bring a power line across. Something like that. That should catch them all. But I'd rather you work on the steel wall first. That'd be lovely. If you could do that. Because if we get raided again... And we're going to be fighting from inside our own base again. Which isn't great. Jesus Christ, come on. There you go. Alright guys, that is actually going to do it for this episode. So, uh, before I end it though, um, I am going to be doing a backlog. Because I'm very busy uh, all the way through until after New Year's. So, I'm going to be doing a backlog. But it doesn't mean that you can't send me some hints and tips. Because I might see them. I'm not going to be backlogging this all in one go. So if you do send me your hints and tips, there's a good chance that I'll see them. And if not, then I'll implement them after I stop doing my backlogs and stuff like that. If you did enjoy the RimWorld episode, though, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for some more of it. And if you've already subscribed, then be sure to hit that bell icon next to the subscription button to be notified when I release a new video. Alright, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.